Good afternoon everyone. Um, I've had a request from a lady called Jane Foreman on Pinterest for instructions on the shadow box I did with the Signs of Santa DSP from Stamping Up. Now unfortunately I can't show you that one because that has sold, that was an order. Um, but I have done one in um, the snowman from the same DSP. So this is the box, this is the shadow box that she's asking for instructions for. So I'm going to make the box, I'm not going to decorate it today but I will show you how to make the box. So you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. Now I used red but obviously you can use any colour you want. And you're going to score this at three quarters of an inch. Slip there. Uh, one and a half. Two and a quarter. And three. Now you're going to do that on all four sides. So exactly the same on all four sides. Three quarters of an inch. One and a half. Two and a quarter. And three. The next side, two quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. And the last side, three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. Also need to put in two more score lines, but you're going to, going to score down to the second score line here, which is your one and a half. So you're going to score on this side at three and three quarters down to the second score line only, and again at eight and a quarter to the second score line. And you're going to flip over. And do exactly the same on the opposite side. So three and three quarters down to the second score line, eight and a quarter down to the second score line. And that's all the scoring you need. Let's pop that way. Right. Now we don't need any of these squares, so we're going to actually cut all four of those squares away. So as neat as you can, because this is going to be shown on the outside, I'm going to cut them away, like that, all four. Again, if you don't feel confident enough to do it with your scissors, then use your trimmer, um, I'm sure you'll manage. Make sure that you cut to the left side or the right side of the score line. So you're actually cutting the score line away and you're left with a nice neat edge. Okay, let's get rid of those. Now, where we put in the partial score lines, I don't know if you can see, can you see them there? Where we put in the partial ones, we're actually going to cut down and then cut across to the corner of the third score line. And do that on this one. So you end up with this shape. And do exactly the same thing on the other side. So we're going to cut up to the second score line and then to the corner of the third score line. Again on this side, down to the second score line and across to the corner of the third. So you're left with this shape. This is what you're aiming for. Okay? Now we can fold and burnish all these lines. This is the shape of the shadow box. 
So I'll show you how we put it all together. Um, we're going to put tape, turn it over, and we're going to put tape on the last panel on all four sides. Just on the last panel. As close as you can to the, the edge. Don't worry about it, it's not exact. There you go. I put my phone folder down somewhere, but I don't know where, so <laughs> we'll manage. Right. Now you're going to put not the shaped ones, you're going to put the long ones together first. So what you need to do is take your double sided tape off, the backing off, fold it in half and fold it over, push it down. That should give you that shape. You do exactly the same on this side. So take the tape off, fold it in half and fold it over. And those are two side panels. Now with these ones, same thing. It's a little bit trickier to get it to fold over, so as long as you've got this edge here, on this score line here, you should be okay. You push those to the side, fold it over, and push it down. out of the way and fold it over. So just make sure you've got the edge of that onto your score line. You can't go any further because it will hit here. So you know you've got it. Okay, so you will have that. And then it's just a case of popping some glue um, on the corners here. I'll do it with tape actually because that's a bit stronger. I'll put a piece of tape here and pop it inside and then just pop down. Now if you get any glue, obviously, um, fold it in and fold that in, that's fine. So you're going to decorate it anyway. Fold it in, push it down. I'll give you a nice corner. Same on this side. together and push it down. Do the same for all corners. And that is your shadow box. And then it is entirely up to you how you decorate it. The middle part here if you do want a centerpiece in like this I think was four and a half or four and a quarter square four and a quarter square because obviously this is let's see got the wrong measurements let me turn this over and this is fifteen and a quarter centimetres which is I don't know yeah that's just six inch square so it's a six inch square, so in the middle here um, is four and a quarter square. And then it's up to you how you decorate it um, after that. I have put a panel on the back, which is just another piece of red cardstock with a half inch um, score on it to make a hinge. And then a piece of ribbon between the two to hold it upright, but it doesn't need it, it will stay upright. And that's how you do it. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you found that helpful uh, Jane and uh, 
looking forward to seeing what you create. Thank you. Bye-bye.